his work and his commitment to revealing war crimes, revealing corruption and educating the public in what is being done in our name behind closed doors but without our consent. Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! We shared, raised our voices in defense of the WikiLeaks publisher outside the Ecuadorian embassy where a crime had been committed in front of our eyes and the eyes of the world. A political asylee was brutally kicked out of his political asylum with the complicity and the conspiracy of the US, UK governments who pressured Ecuador to terminate his political asylum. We are witness to this. We gave witnessing of what happened three years ago to tomorrow in that place. And we continue our witnessing here. This is where Julian Assange was brought after six and a half years of arbitrary detention inside the Ecuadorian embassy. He was brought here. A man who had not seen the sun in six and a half years. A man who had not taken out a walk in the park. Before, instead of taking him to a hospital to care for his complex medical needs, they brought him here in Westminster Magistrate's Court to face a judge. A judge who called him a narcissist. He called him a narcissist when he only answered his name. That's all he said at court, his name. And they called him a narcissist. What kind of judge is that? What kind of country we live in that behaves like that? Terminates a political asylum given in fairness after careful consideration when they've known all along the United States government was after him for his work at WikiLeaks. So we are here today in our journey of solidarity with Julian Assange in a hopeful message that our support continues. Our support is endless and will continue till we see him free. Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange.